the double layer. <laughs> Come. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he wants to talk. Guj is in the Kutch region of Gujarat in western India. It's a very harsh climate. It reaches extreme temperatures. The, the pressing need that we've identified is that we want to improve thermal conditions in, um, in housing. Well, the overall idea is to, is to have a passive house which will provide comfort conditions and in fact in some cases have a major impact on people's health. We want to we wanna be able to integrate the building culture here so that the roofs and the solutions are of the place, so they're responsive to context. Well, the Hunter Shala Foundation, they're certainly working with helping to develop these housing for the very poor people, the people who have been in the slums, to get them more sustainable housing. Uh, being uh, an arid area, uh, we have temperatures that go up to 45 degrees uh, centigrade and go down to zero degrees as well. But we have almost 50,000 people living in uh, squatters, in slums, um, covering uh, almost 75 small settlements. The collaboration that we are working with, uh, with MIT is on trying to develop a roofing system which is both climatically comfortable as well as affordable for the slum dwellers of this region. Our main objective is uh, we are working for the low income group housing issues. Around 300, uh, 330 houses we are building in this year. And for that we are thinking about, uh, about the climate. So what we've done is we've built a series of um, prototypes to test their performance against each other. What we have are five test chambers. Two of them are, we've outfitted with just single layer roofs that are typical to Buj. So we have um, the flat Mangalore pattern tile roof and the tin sheet roof. And then we have three other test chambers um, that are utilizing double layer roofs. And this is one of our uninsulated chambers. So we have four sensors and we take all of those measurements and that gives us, uh, that, that lets us estimate the radiant temperature so that we can average it with air temperature. That gives us the operative temperature We've tested them for about six months. We have about six months worth of data. And if we can make one conclusion from these tests that they're, um, they're allowing the indoor spaces to be about two degrees Celsius cooler than the uninsulated chambers, the, the single air chambers. We're gonna continue testing uh, prototypes, new prototypes based on what Bradley and, and uh, Dr. Glicksman and, whoa. You be good. <laughs> you be good. Alpha. And we're now currently looking into how we can actually implement the roofs and some of the Housing for All houses. The Housing for All is a program which was announced. It's a way of providing housing, again, for the very poor people in India. We're going to build some of these prototypes, these double layered prototypes second generation onto these houses and we'll, and then we'll outfit the, the houses with sensors. We provide all the necessary logistical support over here along with some technical support uh, based on our knowledge of the region and the MIT students bring their rigor of science and technology to this program. We really did design the project together. It's a really wonderful place and I feel really lucky to be able to be welcomed into a place like this and, and try to do good work. Uh, one, one of the objective is housing. Is it fine? Okay.